people that look a lot like each other i don't think they look anything alike or, or maybe is it makeup I don't not know. in this picture i mean there there's differences but like like this shot like for example her her and her and so her you're saying chewy chai young geo and geo um and maybe her if uh, her lights were her sauna? eyes sauna were not her um eyes were not that light they have like a very narrow um, jaw, like a very small jaw, or whatever. Um, the eyes are some more, you know, mm. so that's why it gets confusing. It's actually crazy because now they Do don't, see I see them as very, 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 very different. I don't know how to describe Nayeon's look, I don't know how to describe I it, I can, but I can, I can recognize her. I all can recognize Nayeon, I can recognize Gio, and you Nyeon. should be able to recognize Jung Yeon, Jung Yeon, yes. Mm -hmm. um, you should be able to recognize Momo. Momo, I recognize. There you go. S Sana, I don't even know how to explain that, but she just she just got a look to her <laughs> that just doesn't look like everybody else. Well, let's uh, yeah, it's, it's and then yeah. we got Geo. Yeah, I actually cannot no, explain no, it. I just know they look different. Especially, now. especially like on the video. Uh, oh, in the video, when they different. change the hair color or the haircuts, it's like, oh, where'd she go? I'm lost. I'm like, who's oh, that? Oh, in the video, I can see that. I'm just saying there's static images right oh, here. Oh, right but... here, right now. Like, I, yeah, but I can tell you, like, uh, Cheong, Dam, and Daya, and uh, Sana a little bit, right? And Mina. Did I say yeah, Mina? Mina. Um, they look similar. Mm. They're so similar right, to their face. Cool. cool. All right, anywho, let's do this. Annyeong haseyo. Chonin. Rakti Lee. Eb Nida. Yeah, girl, Ursa. Yo, we are here to cover Twice's Dive, the Japanese album. Woohoo! already told y'all we got to add some more languages to our intro. We got to say Japanese intros. Watching a Chinese drama, so we got to learn how to say that. <laughs> if we ever come across that, that side of the media here when we're doing our intros. Ooh, it's getting exciting. Also, please forgive my wife for the mispronunciation of names. I'm terrible. Because she has another language. She speaks English and she speaks Spanish. So when she sees a name or she sees anything in English, she like does a conversion in her mind, but then she has to do a double conversion, right? That's how it works? No, it's just the sounds. Like, I don't know if it's like the Spanish kind of look, you know, like it comes with the Spanish and then the English. So like, yeah, it's a confusion. Like I have to learn how to pronounce their names. Although gotcha. they're, you know, with words that, or letters that I can't understand. I just... Mm. Since the last video that we posted regarding names, um, some don't even worry about this. I'm just telling you, Geo and Chewie's name we will still say wrong, because ch there is a sound in Geo's name that you're supposed to say, but most people will let it go because it's so, uh, you know, like the, subtle. The, the H. And Chewie's Gio. name is the same way because you basically Gio. you can't translate her name in letters in a way that we'll understand. So right, people just chewy. say chewy to make it easy for you, but that is that ain't not, that's not how you say it either. That's but terrible. people are, people are going to forgive us for that's saying chewy. That's why you have to learn the language to actually get You have to learn whole, her name in her language. That is correct. The essence of whatever they're saying. I'm, I'm pretty sure like uh, translating um, any song into like the English, uh, there's probably a lot of sense laws so we have to learn. If we have we have to continue with Korean, I have to learn Korean language. Yeah, but that's, this is a Japanese song, but yes. No, or Japanese, whatever it is, though. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so we are going to jump into this. Um, as always, we post our uh, K-Drama reactions on your boy, Rock Lee, so if you guys like that, check that out. We do have an active Patreon. We do appreciate your support. It is free to join, <laughs> at least. Uh, you can recommend content, participate in polls, but uh, the upper tier is where you get access to like uncut material and early access material. So let's jump into the first song, Beyond the Horizon. Ready, this love? is gonna be a sad one. I'm ready. I don't know. Ah! It's blind. I, ah! I, the only song I know from this is I don't want to cry anymore. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Please don't make me cry. Let's do this. Oh, can I do this? I feel so lonely. I feel so lonely. That's a sad song. 
Think of I give myself on my first, on my own first wave that particular. So it's like I felt like I was like um, you know taking it a day at a time kind of thing. Oh, like not rushing into things. What do you think about that? Something completely different. No, I actually really wrestled with that concept. Mm -hmm. I give myself on my own first wave. It's like, you know, it's 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 almost like like you're you're in control in some portion. Right. Like it's your wave, and you're giving yourself there. And mm -hmm. no matter what comes your way, you're just going to keep going. Mm -hmm. They talked about people laughing at them, but, you know, I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. And, um... I just feel like, like, you know, like, they're seeing the horizon, right? And just looking at the sea, whatever, there's a bunch of waves. But she's like, there's a wave coming. Yeah. But I'll do it on my on my own time, my own term. Like, doesn't make sense. Oh, that makes, that makes sense. One of the first opening lines was, I can't sleep at 3 a.m. Right. I feel lonely. I like this song. One thing that's crazy in my twice journey mm. is the the Nyan appreciation. Because mm. I already told you guys in the last album at the end, those lines I always thought was Geo's, right? And mm -hmm. it's not. So like some of the 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 
the strong singing that Nyon was producing <laughs> in this one, I really, really love those notes. And it's like, it's one of those things where I was supposed, I was supposed to love you sooner. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm having like an identity crisis oh over my here. Gosh. But now I really, really, really enjoyed her parts. And um, yeah, but as you can see, like I mentioned before, both of their voices are usually uh, right one after the other. Yes, they are. Because they're so similar. It's so similar. It's really hard to like on the video, uh, music videos, it's really hard to pinpoint which one is what, you know, who, who is who, because their voices are similar. But they, I think both they can reach high notes, I believe. Yeah. It's, um, like I said, Gio has a little bit more soul in it, and Nyan has a higher pitch frequency. Neo, That's the best way yeah. I, I would be able to Neo has, like, a vibration. Sorry. Like yeah. Like, a vibration. And, and that's what I'm find, finding to the higher notes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Right. Yep. So, I'm on, I, I see you, Nyan. I made my way over to Gio. <laughs> made my way over to Momo. As you guys can see, I made my way over to Mina. Now I'm looking at Nyan. It's just, it's just, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go to the next song. But I really enjoyed Nyan's uh, singing on this particular yes. song. Yes. It was beautiful. Beautiful song. All Sweet. right. Anyways, we're going to check out the next song. Let's do this. I think the most correct way. Uh, one Let's... of the people that the comments said is Zateria... This person, I won't try to say this name. Zadie Farhani. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I, I completely butchered the name, but thank you for just Maybe. <laughs> Don't worry. I saw these uh, shorts. Well, if we keep learning, we won't have to translate. Well, you keep learning, but I need to get myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. Into learning it. Yeah, you got to work on it. All right, so. I, go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I think I did something dumb anyways. This says dive, doesn't it? It doesn't even say ocean deep. Hold on. Give me a second. Ocean deep is here. Or I'll just go with the first one. Yeah. I can't even go with this person. Because uh, his is dive. Are you able to go to his... Uh, I did that before. That's when you were on your phone and I was like... Oh, you spending didn't all the time. It? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't have it arranged by playlist. He has it arranged by artist. I, didn't, I just couldn't find twice his full stuff there. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will use this person. Ocean Deep. Ready? Let's do These it. are old school pictures. Yeah, they look so young. Yeah, you can tell. Uh-huh. Here we go. I can feel everything in the ocean deep. Ocean deep. Ocean deep. The right time, so do you can do right now. I can feel the lean of you, you and I, not in I can do a hit or go. I can feel the lean of you, can you and I, not in I can do a hit or go. Don't look back, let's go face. Nice shot, no, but see, I'm at the place.
like, yo, who's saying that? I gotta go back in two minute mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's when I would have mistaken her for Geo back in the day. That part. But I got it now. Ooh, that's fire! That was a good time. I really like that one. I really, really liked it. I gotta go around. Oh, I'm in the wrong song. Hold on. God, it changed so fast. Around two minutes, someone was killing it with the note. But I was reading the lyrics. I didn't know who sang it. So just give me. Let me hit it at 152 so I can catch it. That's chewy with this part. It was me. Okay, okay, okay. Wow! God! Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna keep singing the same tune over and over <laughs> again, but Nayeon is. Okay, okay. Jeez! Nayeon, yes. Gio, I think she has a more powerful voice than Nayeon, but Nayeon can reach a higher note. Yeah, that it, note is crazy! Is yeah. I felt it. I felt it. I was listening to the lyrics. I missed who the color was. I think by the time it came on, it was Sana. No, like, yo, I it, missed it's, it. it's the thing is that Gio and Neo, they always, like I said, I'm going to repeat again. Yeah. Their their voices are so similar, they put them together. Like, with uh, who's going to sing what. So, she, in the meantime, she's singing, and then there comes the the, the the choir, like, la, 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 and then they switch to that immediately. And so, that's where you get lost. Yeah. But I, I well, to be clear, I knew that mm -hmm. I did not hear Gio. Right. When I listened to that high note, I knew it wasn't Gio. I just didn't know which other girls it could have been in that moment. I'm going to let you know another piece of sauce. Jung Yeon mm -hmm. also has a great voice, mm -hmm. but I she doesn't really get the lines as much as the other ones. But I already know she has a good voice, and I've heard it very seldomly. <laughs> But that girl has an amazing voice as well. First of all, let me just say, all oh, the girls got an amazing voice. I am talking to certain things that happen to get me more excited than others. Than others. So I know that Jin Yeon has the range that would get me hype. I just don't get exposed to it as often. But I'm very much aware that the ability is there. Her singing is beautiful. I just want to point that out. But yeah. Anyways, Nayeon hit that note. And I was like, yo! I got to go back and know who, who sang that one. So... Good I, stuff. I think I got the theme of this one. You know, uh, it's you know, there's someone that they're in, into. It's mm -hmm. a love song for the most part. They're so high in love. The high in love. <laughs> they they make a reference to the ocean because um, part of the thing about the ocean it has so much undiscovered places. Some scientists say they know more about space than the ocean. Right. So they just want to get deeper and deeper and deeper into said individual and learn more about them. Um, Mm -hmm. Obviously, the whole album is themed after the ocean, so I, I think I got pretty much in that. Deeper and deeper and deeper into your sea, your heart is shining brightly, ocean deep. So, you're so I bright. I feel so Endless high. Just... The deeper I go, I feel so high. I see that. I see uh -huh. that. I see that. Uh -huh. I really like this one. Like I said, it was also upbeat, you know, a powerful message. We saw, or at least heard, uh, vocal ranges really being tested more, you know, if you if you tired of the same two names, my bad. But Geo and Nyan just killing it with the with the vocal range. It gets me excited. Um, 
I'm not a calm individual. I think you guys know that. So, like, that's just why it tends to resonate with me. Like, when someone is has a high range or they're, they're really just letting it go on the mic, I get hype. I want to jump out of my seat. Like, that's what I would want to do. Mm-hmm. What about you? Because you have a different personality than me. I think I can jump out with the calm index. No, anyone. There's, like, there's like nine girls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't hate me for this but i did enjoy remember how we did like three songs that they were like with three different girls yeah yes i remember that. i think that they were able to in, to show up more of their vocals and there because it, it's one song for three versus one song for nine i agree and i enjoyed that so yeah yeah you know what's also different too mm-hmm. um when you watch the music videos they have different uh things that come to the table so for example in a music video now that there's dancing involved, there's looks involved, there's swagger involved. From my experience, Momo starts uh, to really excel in this environment, okay? Mm-hmm. I've said this before, Cha Young as well excels in a music video because she really has these swag faces. I don't really know how to explain it, but she puts a lot of attitude in the things that she's saying. Mm-hmm. Diane, again, in a music video, uh, the I smiling, a lot of the cutesy nature. Yes, yes. And then uh, for Mina in particular as well, it's just the gracefulness. She does these little things, and she just kind of looks off in the distance, and she's just singing. <laughs> I remember when you described her, like, how she just opens her mouth, like, when she's looking. Remember yes, this? Yes, <laughs> yes. What kind of description is that? I but think I, was, I, I got it. you, and I got but you. I her mouth was, it. yeah. It's kind of like that in this picture that we're looking. <laughs> yeah, she she has a good mouth slash te- teeth. Teeth. <laughs> she really does. And uh, I have been appreciating more of Sana and Chewy. It is not until like the last, I'm going like, not going to lie to you, like two weeks, I was able to really differentiate the two a lot better. And uh-huh. after doing that, it's, e- it's easier to appreciate them. I already big up Nyon and Gio enough, so y'all already got that. In a music video as well, even though I really, really, really love Gio, Nyon is constant smiles. And I don't really know how to describe it anymore. But again, in a music video with the constant smiles and high energy... Uh, she really, 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 really shines. Okay. Anyways, so that's it. We're going to jump into the next song, guys. Let's do this. Okay. Listen up. Ooh. What is that? Listen what up. is that? What I feel, what I feel is alive.
Wow. Wow, it just keeps getting better and yes. better. I love this. I love the, the rhythm of this. The energy. A lot of energy. Yes. From on, all of them. Like, I can feel their personalities on this song. Yes. I had to put on both headphones because I only hear out the right ear. And I, I heard this little beat that they got going on. I was like, I, I, need, I need both ears. Um, you definitely got to have nice headphones when you listen to this particular song. And okay. right after talking about my homegirl, Jung Yeon, mm -hmm. you heard what I heard? Yes. Where, where, where did that go? Is it the first it 20 the seconds? Yeah, the beginning. Yo, it was so short. But I'm like, yo, it's it's there. It's there. She definitely has some. I'm just going to play around 18. Uh, okay, I, I, okay, because so I'm going to play around this part. Okay, let's do this. I couldn't, even, I couldn't even pause it after trying to show you what I wanted yeah, to show you. No. Because it's like, I can't stop on that person's part. It was all so good. But again, man, Jung Yeon, I heard it. And like right before, like I noticed more in the tank, it was switched to another mm -hmm. person. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. If y'all ever watched Sister Act 2, because I'm, I'm showing my age, right? <laughs> Yo, there was that homeboy who sang all oh, happy days. And she really had to work with him and push on his stomach. And before you know it, he really let it out. She has a nine-year career, so she don't got to take any advice from me. I already get that. But I just imagine her as the homie in uh, Sister Act 2. <laughs> and I'm like, I know there's more in this tank. She is powerful, yeah. But there's nine people here, and we just got to divide. You know, we just divide up roles. I'm like, okay, okay. So that's all I got to say. It's, it's a nice little tease. I also think, overall, mm -hmm. as, as a nine, mm -hmm. it, was, it was to a point where... I do have people that I could highlight. I'm not going to in this video because I feel like they did a good job of 
everyone being like highlighted slash important. I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I felt like everybody's personality with this song without watching a video. Uh, agreed, agreed. So you can imagine when this video comes out, if it comes out, it's going to be fire. It better come out. You can see the confusion as well when you're trying to get someone's part because the lo 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 part that Jung Yun was singing. Later on, Cha Young sings the same thing. Yes, and, and they had, like I said, they have similar voices. <laughs> ah, <laughs> they I'm gonna let do. that one slide. I'm gonna let that one slide. Well, they they do though. Like that's what they paired up together because they have a uh, same tone kind of voice. I think like when I hear, I, I'm going. I'm sorry. So I may not always know I'm listening to Cha Young, mm -hmm. but when Cha Young sings, I can. Cha Young's voice just sounds uh, unique to me. Okay. But I can't always tell. I won't just know blind that I'm listening to Chai Young. But when I hear her, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's definitely Chai Young. Because she has, I don't know how to explain it. It's a, it's a swagger it's in her a voice. It's a vibration. I don't know. Like, yeah. I feel like she vibrates her voice. So, and Sana, she... Sana and Chewie, I won't recognize yet. I just I just won't. But I can hear that they both sound beautiful. But when, when, I, when I, you know how I say there's a sound in Chai Young that I can, like, oh, that's distinct? Yeah. Even though I can't describe it, I my brain knows what I'm looking for. With um. Sana and Chewy, I'm still working on what I'm looking for. Momo, <laughs> I can hear it. I'm like, okay, that is Momo. Mina, I got it. That's Mina. Uh -huh. If Dayan is singing, I can mix up Dayan singing with Chayun singing, though. Huh. I can mix up her singing. But if Dayan is rapping or talking, basically you, I'm like, you, oh, I know that's yeah. Dayan. But yeah. when she sings, I'll lose who she is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, next right. song. Next song. Here I am. Here I am. All right, guys. We are uh, checking out our next song, Here I Am. So far, it's a fire album. Uh, each song just continues to build and build and provide a different experience. Here we are. Again, the um, the the 
highlighting people starts to wear away because I feel like everyone is shining. Yes. Like, especially in this particular song. I heard Chewie pull off a note and I had to Dude. look to make, like, who's that one? I thought that was someone else, someone else and it was actually yes. Chewie. I'm like, okay, so you got that range too. I got you. So I, I clearly saw Chewie putting in work in this one and in general, everyone was putting in work. I'm just paying him note that in this one, I heard her more than There's I would There's a little normally. more balance of time uh, singing between a them all, I think. Absolutely, absolutely. Momo has some dope lines. Yes. Uh, look, we had a theme, because I'm connecting something. I don't know how deep to look into Twice's album songs as a whole, but in, like, what is, in not what is love, in Formula Love and a lot of their other songs, <laughs> they want the guy to approach them. And they're like, hurry up and make a move. They themselves, yes, in their don't lyrics, waste time. <laughs> never, they never want to make a move, though. No. But they don't want you, the guy, to waste time. Yes, I, I, basically, they expect you to know when to make a move, and now don't wait to long. Correct. I also pick up, at least in this song, and now I think about it, their other songs, they also have a theme of uh, being afraid of showing the real me or themselves. the real themselves. Yes. They hide that. And if they reveal it, they don't necessarily know how you'll respond to it. So when I'm looking at their brand as a whole and the theme of their song, like I said, I might be looking in too deep. It's like they don't make the first moves and they're afraid of dropping their facade or you letting or letting someone in on their on the real them and what that might mean and being rejected. Momo had to sign about dropping her mood. Oops, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and she apologized for that, and they were, and then they went, they went on with additional lyrics of, you know, loving the real me or, you know, accepting me, the, you know, something like that. Gio says something about her being crazy, and it's okay, you can be crazy too. I didn't know what to think of that, but it actually reminded me <laughs> I'm a little me, crazy, me you. but you can be crazy too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Isn't that like us? Uh, no, I'm not crazy. Who said that? No, I'm not crazy. I'm the crazy one. I made yeah. you crazy, of course. No. Oh, you just no. None of us is crazy. No. Oh, okay, sorry oh about God. that. There's no crazy ones, <laughs> but I I really like the song as well. And they continue to like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. So now it's too, now it's a lot of pressure. It can't stay this consistent. So right. Yeah. Wow, so. that was a good song. Agreed. Agreed. Short, yes. sweet, and spicy. By the way, it didn't even hit three minutes. No, I like the spice in this one mm -hmm. and the previous one too. I don't know which one is best no there's no best like it's hard yeah it all depends on your mood like like my personal experience i'll have a song like feel special might be my favorite but i'll listen to i got you i'm like oh i think i got you is my favorite uh -huh. and i'll go back and listen to what is love I'm like nah nothing could beat what is love that's my favorite and, and then, then, then i was like <laughs> yeah. oh, no. no this is my favorite right now yeah it's my is this right I now it all depends oh my gosh this is so good. Oh, I could cry. And like uh, the re-listen value, like when you're re-listening to a song, it starts to marinate more with you. Mm -hmm. On top of that, if we watch music videos, um, uh, it starts to marinate with you. I'm trying to think of a song, but I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about it. I think this, one of these songs, there's a, large, a long bridge. It's the music video where they're holding a camera and um, they're... It's on the Twice it a Grand turns album. It around and moves and it shakes us. They sing it. That's mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Well, no. But the point is they're walking around with this camera and they're oh. talking about... It's on, <laughs> it's on the Twice a Grand and they're also afraid of... They, whatever. I just got to <laughs> say the point. They have this long transition and during this transition, mm -hmm. Momo dances. No one is singing. It's only Momo dancing. She just breaks it down, does her thing, right? So even... How did she do it? How did don't, do don't it? worry about it. <laughs> Even if I'm not watching the video and I'm just uh -huh. listening to the song, the song is now enhanced because visually I know that's her part when she dances. Mm -hmm. So if I'm just by myself and my hands is free, I don't got to worry about all the movement. <laughs> I can now break it down and do my <laughs> thing because I, I know see, that's her that. part. Let me see that again. Let me see that it, again. It doesn't hit if you ask me to do it twice. <laughs> I'm also shy just like my homegirl Momo. <laughs> So, what? I'm shy. Shocking news, breaking news. <laughs> I'm shy when you put me on the spot. <laughs> but if I'm just acting right randomly. I've never seen this before. Okay. I whatever. I'm not gonna <laughs> overthink it. So I'm saying if you watch a music video and then you also listen to the song, it, it's further enhanced because you remember people's parts. You remember what they do, their facial expression mm -hmm. at that at that moment. Uh, one of the songs there at the side, and they do this little thing from the side. It's the one where they're in a music video and there's a train. Can't stop. Can't stop me. There's a couple of parts where they lean to the side and then the camera angle will get them and they'll just be bouncing from the side mm -hmm. and they'll switch mm -hmm. angle and they'll continue you, to be bouncing. You, bounce you put so much pressure on me. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to go to the next song. You guys want music reactions, not lead discussing. All right. You're getting so passionate about it. 
<laughs> I am passionate. I know. The next one is inside of me. What? Uh, Why did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? I can tell you one no. thing. I am looking forward no. to what this song this, is going this to be about. This can't be. What? Oh. Yeah, the struggle, right? There it is. I'm trying to see who we're going to trust. Any mini mo. The one that has the most views. That one. Go for it. <laughs>that one time you're gonna get annoyed by me in some of this Wait, it. i gotta go back one i gotta go back uh, uh, I, I got to that was pure heat you're still uh, what no it, it is a good tongue that was pure heat i got lost in the music and it was just, it was just <laughs> very good i gotta say it again everybody is well balanced mm -hmm. a lot of swag a lot of personality uh it's deep you know again the <laughs> deep <laughs> Are you laughing at the name of the album? Deep Inside of Me. Oh. The name of the album, Deep, yo, know, Inside of Him, oh, and it's him, dive, her, Dive them. Inside of Me, how about that? Yes, yeah, Dive Inside of Me, yes. yep, yep. Uh, it's, just, it's deep, it's deep, it's deep. I'm gonna hit play, I'm just gonna jam again. Just it, feel, and it starts off like fire. Inside of me. Inside of me. Inside of me. <laughs> inside of me. Happy, but that line is sad. If you don't know the reason why, they're in the same boat. I discovered strength at the same time. Yeah, this is my true self. Not just beauty inside. They say like they're authentic, not 
and that's okay. But no one else is going to see it. And they know their value. Yes. It's just the right person's going to see it. Correct. There you go. Her part was nice with the music dropping. I like that particular line. Right. That vocal control. Can't choose a favorite now. No, I can't choose a favorite now. No That's just fire. That's it's fire. It's a whole album. <laughs> favorite's the whole album. Yo, we'll see. we're gonna get to Peep Soda next. Oh my gosh. I like the message. Epic. The first line is interesting to me because she was like, I don't know why tears are flowing. Right. I feel like they're talking about their value. Like, you know, like sometimes we as females don't that we're catering to the male. To the males, it's like, no, I know my value. And I know I'm not the right uh, light for uh, everybody that won't be able to see my light or something like that, right? So, because you are unique and only specific people will see your, your uniqueness. So. Hmm? <laughs> you look at me. <laughs> Why do you don't? don't do oh, that? don't pet you. I'm sorry. She doesn't like that. <laughs> she doesn't like that. She has a different love language than me. That's right. Okay. I love you. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's so sweet. <laughs> Sometimes when I hear about the things that ladies be thinking of, you know, we do have a daughter, by the way, so that definitely got me, uh... uh <laughs> I, the, the me before having a daughter is not the same as me after no, a daughter. 100%. The, it's like, oh. Yep. I don't have any sons, I have a daughter. <laughs> and currently the way the structure is, is not necessary to her favor. <laughs> I gotta make some considerations and changes and uh, different thoughts, so... Sometimes when I hear what you guys think or go through, it's like, oh, that's what you go through. That's as a man, you I don't go through that. Not to your point, <laughs> not to your level. Like even like um, like uh, you know, being taught depending on what your culture is, being taught to you know, save your opinion, don't speak when men are talking, those kind of stuff. I never had to deal with that. You know, this is it's talk. But mm. you come from a different culture where, no. No, you're not supposed to speak up your mind. I'm sorry. It's terrible. But I spoke my mind, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Once I let it out, it can not come back in. So do I feel so. bad for you? Am I getting, you getting sympathy? No sympathy? No, what sympathy. do we do? Okay, you, okay. You got, you, ooh, you got to give me sympathy. I'm sorry that she went through that. And why'd you say, oh? Because I turned green. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the green screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to the next song. Okay. Let's do this. I'm trying to decide who, oh, the one, whoever has the most views.
like a summer time when I was younger. <laughs> My early teens. What about it? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> what about it, babe? Nothing. It just reminds me. Given the theme of the song. Of, of a summer love. Oh. As a teenager. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. The pressure. And <laughs> <laughs> it not working out? Obviously. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I didn't know you back then, so obviously it didn't work out. It did not work out. I'm sorry, babe. Obviously. <laughs> so, do you see, it's like a summer love. It's basically good and bad because you had create fake memories. And then they're like, no, nah, gone. No, nah, I support you. <laughs> I, I'm just letting you talk before I talk. Because I think people prefer to listen to you because I talk too much. <laughs> You talk too much, but go ahead. So I was just thinking about the concept mm -hmm. that it's a sad song. It's a very good song. Well, I find it to be sad because it makes me. I just don't think it's sad. It's not the it's not the feelings of excitingness and hype. What do you get as a feeling? Well, I feel like it's an acknowledgement. Like I had to go through this, and we knew it was just a summer. Like, yeah. And you reflected back on your sad moment. Yeah, That's why you went like, to your summer. But, oh, but whatever was, that moment. But it was. was not sad. Like it was good memories, and they're gone. That's it. You, you so you reflected on your peach soda. You know the thing is, <laughs> I actually soda. never reflected on my peach soda. <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's sad. What y'all are going through, <laughs> and it's over, and y'all had to say goodbye. I was not experiencing this sadness or looking back because I was like, look at you know everything is good. Sorry, ladies. And then I look over at you, and you start talking, and you weren't thinking about this summer. Uh, and that goodbye, and however it made you feel. So I'm like, oh, she was doing some reflecting. <laughs> I wasn't doing any reflecting. And now, I'm doing reflecting. <laughs> so now I also feel like, mm -hmm. dang, because I, I remember those feelings of oh. things just not working out. And, you know, and all the feelings associated with it. <laughs> and those don't feel very good. So, 
that's why I feel sad. Yeah, you know, it just makes me think of like somebody can like this is literally what happens. Like that an out of town person comes into my town. Yes. Just for the summer. And you make beautiful memories or whatever, spend time, and then they're gone at the end of the summer. Okay. So it's not necessarily negative to me. Fair. Well, oh, that's even better. Because what I was thinking was uh -huh. they liked someone a lot, mm. and that person was fake, and they're finding out that that person did not like or love them in the way that they that's liked or loved them. You, you, yeah. So now they're saying goodbye. Oh. And... You know, you're like Pete Soda to them. That's how I interpret it. I could be absolutely wrong. No, it's interesting how, like, two people completely, you know, that's what I thought about. Then that's what I reflect. It was like, yeah, it's like a summer break. You meet a person on, or you will go visit somebody in a new town. You meet that person. There's no hard feelings. But you know they're fake because you're not going to stay in that city. You know what I mean? Or and that's why you're not sad, but I'm sad. Right. So I'm like, right. oh, this person was fake. Like, this is oh, not a sad dang. Thing. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. It's over. It doesn't necessarily have to be fake. <laughs> Interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. By the way, I'm not even convincing you of anything. Like, okay. Yeah, I was just like, no, oh, just that's what you got. No, it's just interesting how we... Uh, you looked at the glass half things. full, and I was like, this thing is half empty. <laughs> that's crazy. Look at this half empty thing. It was and you're not like, like... It's not so bad. It's pretty half full, you know? Yeah, it's like, you know, there were fake memories, because they're not, you're not supposed to stay there forever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just... Yeah, the summer love. That's what, what, that's what I think of a summer love. Fake? Not you fake. Have a, you could have a Not real... fake, but it's just you create it. Like, uh, you create a relationship based on nothing. There's no, you know, the, there's no foundation. So it's completely fake, right? I guess. That's, that's what you call that's it. That's pretty abstract. Life? Not abstract, but deep. <laughs> like, we had something. There wasn't a strong foundation. But there's not a foundation. So, so it, that thing it's was fake. fake. It's straight up. <laughs> but but at like, the same time, it was a genuine... Yeah, because that's something I to say to you. I was like, but that was a real experience to me. It was a real experience, but it was not to last. So, like, you knew. It's just a summertime. That's what I'm talking about. And you know going into it is not going to have any future. <laughs> Editor, I'm going to need you to send me this individual <laughs> conversation. Why? So I need to have some guy time. Because, yo, you could be real. Like, yo, that was so special to me. That was everything. <laughs> And she was like, nah, that was fake, man. That was fake. Was, that was just for the summer. I don't care about you. You, you, you don't even matter. It's like, dang. Anyways, <laughs> that's, that's profound. That's profound. And I'm the one who doesn't have the emotions and feelings. What? And, yeah, it's interesting. Get out of here. Wow. Anyways, we're going to the next song. It is a beautiful song, though, but we obviously talked about how we felt. And y'all know me. If I have to confront my emotions... I start shutting down. I get uncomfortable. I don't know what to do. Which obviously means I have some demons I need to confront. But I'm going to keep them in the box. <laughs> so after Pete Soda, we got uh, Echoes of Heart. Oh, boy. Why oh, you say, oh, boy? I think that's going to be a sad one. Maybe. Oh, yeah. They're they really trying to get you now. After like, the hype. They, they hype you up. And I was like, oh, it's just like one piece. <laughs> I was thinking of that. Cause I was thinking about the episode that made me cry. It's the formula. Yes. You pump someone with a lot of joy, hope, hope, and you take it away. Girl. That's my girl. Why <laughs> are oh, you pointing at me? She's pointing. We're not gonna it go. Looks to, we're not gonna go into details. <laughs> but that is my that is my method. If I just want to get to someone, <sighs> oh, now I know why this thing. It, act, it actually like plays in the background. But anyways, I want to get to someone. Back in my day, of course, when I used to be a bad person, you give them lots of hope, make them very you very happy. Away. Once they're at the peak of the happiness, shout out to all my K-Drama fans because y'all know this is how it goes. <laughs> Remember the glory? Anyways, and then you strike because they will know more despair and hopelessness that's, only if they tasted so enough cruel. joy. That if they didn't have so enough cruel. joy, you can't feel true despair because you don't even know what it's like to be happy. So you have to let this person experience happiness in all of its bliss. Cruelty. And then you've been, you begin the weapons of destruction. That's how you get true crying and despair and all that sadness. Cruelty. But those are from the glory days. Literally, it's a K-drama. I'm not like that. <laughs> good, good you're not like that anymore. Uh, anymore? I was never like that. <laughs> all right. Mm. I'm going to hit play. you get me in trouble. Ooh. I like pianos. I think it's a piano. I'm right here. Baby, what 
I haven't complimented Gio in a long time, so let me circle on back and remind you of Gio greatness. <laughs> One of the things I like about her and her voice again is the control and authority she has over what you're feeling and what you're thinking when she starts talking because it commands attention, right? So what I mean is a lot of the girls or the other girls when they're singing, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, that sounds beautiful. I might be lost in thought. I'm like, that sounds beautiful. Gio comes in and then whatever she's saying, she's it's like she's signaling to me, listen to me. Like, listen to what I'm about to say. Like, pause. Pause. Drop everything you're doing. Yeah. Focus on me. Yeah. I'm about to spit. And then you get the follow-up by Nayan and whoever else sings next, caring with the note or whatever their line is. It's a but it's a, it's a very commanding presence because I, I can just imagine if she was singing the line on some of the parts, she would have some type of stance of authority and you know, really commanding you right now. That being said, she's the leader of the group. Her, her, and her singing, her style, her voice, it just, it just really matches that authority role that she has in the first place. I hear it when she's saying, like, oh, snap, I got to really pay attention. I wouldn't really play around. That's how her voice uh, uh, is to me. And they have this line, which is the line I got impressed with. This is the one that you didn't hear because I was just talking. They said their eye, like, my eyes is beautiful. My eyes is wide, and I'm smiling. Why can't you see me? And then she's like, maybe I'm too close. And uh, you know, you're. I'm right here. Like I. Mm. And it, they're so close that they're not, they're not even seen. Right. So I'm like, well, what does that mean? And they're talking about wavering feelings. So then part of it is, do I have to pull back, in order for you to see me? Mm -hmm. Physically. Yes, because if you're too close to something, sometimes you got to pull away to be seen. To see the whole picture. In a relationship or in a courting stage, what that also would mean is when you pull back, you know, you got to play a little hard to get or just back up. 
just so you can be noticed because sometimes people don't miss things until it's gone. So if you're really close all the time, you're not being seen, it's like, you know what, I'm just going to step back. And like, oh, I, I haven't seen so-and-so for a while. Where's she at? Now you're being paid attention to. That one line, I extracted all of that as far as my thoughts go. Interesting. Every other line I found to be straightforward. That one, I was like, oh, that's really deep. It, it's worth more lines than it's being given to. That's how powerful it was. If you could say one line and you get a whole essay out of it, that's crazy <laughs> to me. So whoever wrote that, that was fantastic. Till next is dance again. Yeah. Ooh. Hair, hair. So I'm not going to hold you guys. This says dance, dance again, twice. And it, it was says December 2023. So that makes sense. That matches the seven months ago that we're dealing mm -hmm. with. Oh. Mm, are you sure? And then what did this say? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this song came out seven months ago. But it's on the album as well. Okay. I've seen 50 do that back in the day. Well, sometimes if they do a solo, I mean, it only makes sense, like, if... They don't have. Okay. Go ahead. That's what it is. I love. Yeah. <laughs> The soft snow I had to put on two headphones for that one. Did you hear it? She had a whistle note. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was whistling? That's what it was? That's called a whistle note. What? Oh, okay. The it's last one? Whistle note. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a guess. The song came out around the holidays. It was because of Christmas. Yeah, it's frozen. What do you mean frosted, it's frozen? Frosted, frosted windows. Oh. It's frozen. 
<laughs> well, that just could have meant that it was cold, right? Because it was. We know it was in December, but they were talking when Gio says something about I don't need no presents. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it's not a Christmas theme song. Like you could play it all year round. Well, not well, whatever. You could play it whenever, but I, I can just imagine yeah, for marketing cool. purposes. Despite when the album was going to come out, you released it around the holidays, or it was a single release on the holidays and just put it on the album. I'm not gonna yeah, go in well, too deep I on think it, that's what time but is. I could see, yo, it's, it's the holiday time, so they released it. <laughs> that's funny. You got it in the first sentence. Yeah. You know why I got it? What I tell you, when Geo talks. I listen. Like, it commands my attention. My mind doesn't wonder. She said she doesn't need any gifts. And I was like, why, Gio? Why don't you need any gifts? Of course, holidays. Got it. You know what I noticed? I don't think I noticed a lot of uh, uh, Momo uh, lyrics on this one. Momo and... Ooh. Like, that's it. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. If I had to guess... And Chewy. I don't think Chewy had much. No. Santa did it have? I like guess. It was, it was mainly Neon, uh, Gio, and Mina. And Dam and um, Taehyung. Yeah. That's it. I can see why they didn't use Momo too strongly in this song. Um, I don't know. She has like a, like swag bars mm -hmm. where she's not singing but she is singing. Mm-hmm. So they just didn't fit that in where they wanted more of the more of the singing singing. Although she could have in theory had a part more where uh, I think Dion and Cheon they were rapping back and forth. That could have fit in Momo. Mm -hmm. So she, Momo does have her parts. We heard them. But um, I could see the tone of the song why it just didn't give her too much of a, of a role. That's my opinion. Right. I think in my opinion this song if they were going to like limit that they should have just done the three people or four people that they wanted to do and then have another person do it. The other ones, the other friends, song kind of thing. You know uh, how they do that? Yeah, no, but us Momo fans would have rioted. Yeah. Because it's like, give me all nine, That's what and I everyone like, wants their person, even if it's one or two lines. They go on stage, they smile, do the thing. Like, yes! Five seconds of the song, but you, but you got your moment. That's what so I'm if you only like, get, if you only get, why is Momo not singing more? Why is she not? Like I want to say, like, wait, wait. Are you joining the Momo fandom? No, I'm just. I like to be fair. <laughs> okay, okay. I like to be fair. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but no, that's that's reasonable. Right. I don't have nothing else to say. But no, yeah, I definitely I like. I ain't gonna list them all, but like, you gotta. There's certain there's certain people that just gotta be here, and if they're not here, I'm gonna be kind of like, ah, yo, where's that person? You where's know, that person? Where's, where's that, that person? Where's that personality? So I got I gotta see him. I gotta see him. That's right. All right, so we're going to our last one, which is hair, hair. <laughs> Anyways, so um. That's it. Let me just do this. Okay. Hair, hair. Huh? The reason why I left is because when I was trying to make sure if this was the right song, and it was this comment who said, hair, hair, clowning, and then they said that that tweet. So, I, I didn't know. If they're, now I'm like, oh, they're making a reference to something. And I was like, oh, okay. Not tweet, but comment. Before they they said hair hair. What is you know what's the significance of that? Right now we're like oh it's a song. Yeah 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 yeah. And this is a year ago so okay. This is one year, and they have they have a music video. Can we react to it? The music video? I say we do the song and then do and then the we'll music, do video. music video. That's fine. Yes, okay. let's do this.
video is going to be lit. this album i liked every song on it like every song was a banger the one that made me sad but the album was fire yes yeah i don't remember which one of his songs it was i think it was here i am so it was either I, I, i'm gonna say it was here i am if it wasn't here i am it's inside of me but the point is it was one where everyone was singing um and it was all over the place remember it was all over the place but in a good way which song mm -hmm. was that one it was back to back it was like it was, they just started lighting it up here i am i think okay so it is here i am I also want to say, because I know it's a modern album, that you know it's classic Twice. Because there is this fun energy that Twice brings to a lot of their songs. Mm -hmm. And you would think that it will get lost mm -hmm. as they're getting older, right? Because it's more mature. So you still hear that, what I'm going to call chaotic fun. It's just a party in this song. But it is also maturing. Mm -hmm. So it's not being lost. I have a difficult difficulty explaining it, but sometimes when they put a song together, it's literally like a party. Everyone seems to be getting apart. They're taking turns. They're ad-libbing over each other, and it's just a party. But it would sound much younger, and I'm, for lack of a better word, because I don't have a robust vocabulary, it would it'd almost, it'd almost be like teenagerous, as you would put it. I was going to say kitty. Kitty. But it, it, I'm still hearing that chaos that I love with the mature sound in it. Especially at the last song that we just hear. I see that this one was a year ago. But Chae Young's part that she has, hey, hey, all of that, this is, this is fire. And it seemed like everyone was having a good time. And, um, you know, we're obviously, gonna, we're obviously going to check out the music video to that. So, that's wow. it. Oh, okay, let's go. Can't wait to see the video. All right. So, thanks for checking out our Twice uh, album journey. Obviously, we're going to be covering more albums. We appreciate you guys' support. Uh... I can only say this here, but like out of the fandoms, you guys have been like the most supportive fandom. But at the same time, I've been the most passionate on the Twice side, so I guess it's a fair trade. So either way, the mutual love and respect uh, is greatly, greatly appreciated on this side. If you guys like K-Jama reactions, be sure to check out your boy Rockley. It's in the description of this video. We also got a Patreon. You can join for free. You can participate in polls and suggestions. And of course, the upper tiers is where you get access to our early uh, content and or uncut videos. So, until next time, Rock D. Lee. Keep her Ursa. Out. Oh.